That's like really nice actually. Hello, welcome to the start of this vlog. Today is Sunday, which is my plant care day. It's probably my favorite day of the week because it's the day I take things slow and I get to interact with my plants and check up on them and just like see how they're doing and how they're growing. So I pretty much finished watering the majority of them, but I did save some stuff to show you guys. I pretty much have three different sundew. I just have them growing in these um, cups without drainage holes and I have a live moss on top and it's super pretty. I just water them with reverse osmosis water and that's pretty much it. Look at how many fungus gnats it catches as well. I just thought I would share that with you guys because um, they are something that I've been pretty interested in as of late. Bit of a closer look. I'm doing something similar with this plant. This is a pink wicula. So this was previously in my ikea greenhouse cabinet but i removed it because the plants that were growing around it were growing too fast and it was being shaded a lot so yeah i moved it out and now i have it in this little hasami porcelain cup i was just in the middle of doing that and then i decided to start this vlog and start recording so i haven't completed it yet but um just to show you guys it used to be right here and it was getting blocked out by all of these leaves and these plants. I need a little bit more moss. I just do this. I find a place with a lot of moss growing and then I just snip it off on the top. Oh. Okay, normally I don't drop it. <laughs> and then I pretty much just put the moss on top of the um, dead sphagnum moss and then I just pat it down. So now I'm just going to keep this moist and it will look very nice. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna put this with the rest of my carnivorous plants. Soon it will look like this, hopefully. I can only dream of achieving this level of comfort. This is one of my moss begonia terrariums. So in here is a begonia goguensis. It's being completely choked out by the sphagnum moss that's growing in here. And it's difficult to get inside and trim it. I'm just going to replant this plant into a larger terrarium. Pretty much just gonna take this begonia out of its terrarium and move it into here. Ah. <laughs> kind of messed up. I got a bunch of the soil mixed in with the moss. I want to get a close up of this moss. Whoa! <laughs> Spritzing it down. So because the moss is so stringy, I'm going to chop it up into smaller pieces. And what's pretty cool about moss is that like, if you chop it up into small pieces, the pieces that you cut will grow back. So it's like propagation, but you can make a lot of propagations if you just cut the moss up to smaller bits. So that is what I'm going to do. Like with everything I do, um, it's not gonna look great in the beginning, but you know, like as it grows in. But actually, I don't know, since I have so much moss, it is kind of looking good in the beginning. Now I'm spraying everything down. Ta-da! Let's just ignore the mess in the back. I really like this begonia and I know it's gonna grow in really nice. In the vlog where I got Theo, I blended moss with soil and I brushed it onto this large piece of wood. I think you can, yeah, you can see it. See that? That is the moss growing in and it's growing the best here, but everywhere else there's also some moss growing in. I cannot wait until I'm able to fill this thing up with water. It's going to be very nice. Also, look at this insane amount of shrimp that I have. <laughs> they are breeding like crazy in here. Normally I try to do 30% water changes at least once a week, 
although that does not always happen. When I do the water change, I just use my regular tap water and then I dechlorinate it with a dechlorinator. And that leads me to the sponsor of this week's video, which is API Brand. API is one of the most well-known brands in the aquarium hobby. If you own an aquarium, I'm sure you've heard of them before. I've personally been using API products ever since I started keeping aquariums, which is like four years ago now. API offers a range of testing kits, water conditioners, fish medications, and nutritional products to help create a healthy and natural environment for our fish and aquatic plants. I use API Leaf Zone, their root tabs, and their stress coat water conditioner. API Leaf Zone and API root tabs are easy to use plant fertilizers for planted aquariums. Leaf Zone supplies nutrients to the water column and the root tabs supply nutrients to the substrate. Something interesting about aquatic plants is that they can easily absorb nutrients through their leaves and their roots. And the stress coat water conditioner is crucial if you're keeping fish or other aquatic inhabitants as it dechlorinates tap water and detoxifies heavy metals and also helps reduce the stress of your fish by up to 40%. Uh, with the healing power of aloe vera. Their products are easy to use, showcasing what to do and how much to use depending on the size of your fish tank. Something that I really like about their packaging is that their caps are measuring cups, so you don't need to use another measuring device to use these products. In addition to having great products, the API website is also an amazing resource with interactive tools and educational blog articles. So yeah, I'll leave a few links to API in the description below. And if you're thinking of starting an aquarium or you already have one, definitely check them out. Chris and I have been making a bunch of these live sphagnum moss terrariums and they are growing in very well and we're going to be selling them on my Etsy soon. Um, I think some will be listed by the time this video is up. And then we let them grow out for at least three weeks to make sure there's no mold and the terrarium will be successful and everything goes well. But look at them, it's like an army. <laughs> Moss terrarium army. I wanted to share this with you guys. Recently, I made some prints of my favorite photos that I've taken. I think that they turned out really great. Um, so they are available on my Etsy if you want to check them out. I was just taking some photos for the listings, so yeah, they're still up. Something that I really like doing with Theo at this time of day is going out to my balcony and sitting on my bench pond. The sun is right on the spot where the seat is and he likes to lay in my lap and enjoy the sun. So yeah, I'm gonna go out there and do that with him for a little bit. So right now I'm writing the notes for some of my Patreon members. Um, so for my third tier of Patreon, which is the Mushroom tier, I'm sending a print with a note on the back. So it's like a postcard kind of, but it also has a print of one of my favorite photos that I've taken. I'm writing a few of those now and it's really fun because um, a lot of these people, like I recognize them from comments or like from social media and stuff. Dave has decided to join us. Hello Dave. What are y'all doing?
the Jurassic Park cup. <laughs> it's really big, so it holds a lot of coffee, and then when I drink all the coffee in it, I go insane. <laughs> <laughs> so today is Monday, and it is currently the afternoon. I didn't film too much this morning because Chris and I were just packaging prints and then going to the post office to ship them out, and I was sending some emails. So yeah, nothing too interesting. So Monday for me and Chris is kind of like a day where we prepare to film. So on Wednesday, we're gonna film a video about my plant projects, and I think that video will be out by the time this video posts. Also, it's been about two months since Chris and I started working together, and it's been very nice to have just like another mind to work with and bounce ideas off of and kind of share the workload. With Chris working with me, I kind of have a little bit more pressure, not like a bad pressure, but I don't know, I just want to like do well for the both of us. And he's also helped me just create content more consistently. I've seen some people comment that they're happy that I am uploading more consistently. And I really appreciate that you guys notice that. Um, it also helps that I am planning more uh, with the help of Chris to plan like what I'm gonna upload and what I'm gonna record. It's just been nice to have a little bit more structure. It's been a lot easier to be more talkative and uh, be more comfortable in front of the camera with Chris recording. It makes things like plant tours and that one plant maintenance video that I put out a lot easier to record because I don't always have to be like moving the camera around and trying to make sure everything's in the shot. So yeah, I just thought I would share that with you guys because I don't know if I've talked about that much yet. Chris and I and Theo are going to go to the park now. The weather is really nice today. It's slightly windy but the sun's out and it is pretty warm yeah it's very sunny but also windy which is like the perfect weather in my opinion yeah. <laughs> Whenever I feed the aquarium, the Amana shrimp get really aggressive and try to steal the food. I wonder, oh my god, is it gonna do it? Look at how aggressive they are. They're like rampaging through. There's a pregnant one right there. You see the little eggs in its belly. Shrimp mania. Now I am going to start editing a little bit just to try and get ahead of my schedule slightly. What I have difficulty doing is just starting the editing process, but once I get going and I get in the editing zone, I can get through it pretty quickly. Today I'm going to one of my favorite nurseries here in Los Angeles called Yamaguchi Nursery. That's where I get a lot of my uh, terracotta pots that I have. So I need to get a fern and maybe some other things for a TikTok that I'm gonna do. Also, I'm friends with the owner of the nursery and we trade plants pretty much every time I visit. He has some bonsai that he put together for me and I am bringing him one of my pretty cool sundew. I'm gonna propagate the sundew right now and then head out to the nursery. This is the sundew that I'm bringing. It's called Drosera regia. There are two plants in this pot. So I'm just going to try and remove one of them and put it in a little baggie for him. I've seen people just pull them out, so I'm gonna try that. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of easier than I thought. Nursery time. Nursery fit check. Shirt from Uniqlo, Adidas track pants, Crocs, and my bag. <laughs> Back in my handbag. <laughs>
This is where I get a lot of the stakes for my plants. Vermonia? Oh, that one. Because that one actually moves. What do you mean by it moves? Like it's the like, leaves will move up and down? Sometimes you can see them. <laughs> it's really <laughs> random. I don't. Oh, I, I think I kind of see it. Uh, sometimes it's just random. I don't get it. I don't get how you. I got this rabbit foot fern for the TikTok that I'm gonna make, so I'm gonna use it for a kokodama. Okay, now I'm gonna move the bonsai out to the balcony and try and find a spot for them because it is very full. <laughs> I'll have to rearrange some things. What are you guys doing out there? <laughs> hmm. Okay, one down. These ones are smaller, so they will be easier to find a spot for. I think I'll just put them here for now. I need to reorganize the balcony a bit. He told me to water these once a day, so that's what I'm doing. I also need to water a few of my plant out here as well, so I'm just gonna do that while I'm out here. Later today, in like three hours, I think, I'm going to be a guest on a podcast called Here Are We Growing. It is a plant podcast. Um, I'm pretty excited. I really like podcasts, uh, like listening to them and stuff, and I've always dreamed of being on one in a way. Not like dreamed, but I always imagined being on a podcast. They sent me a list of questions they're going to ask and stuff and sort of the format for the podcast. Um, I should probably look at those questions, but I know one of the questions is like uh, What is it like having a large audience being like an unconventional content creator? Am I unconventional? I don't know. I am kind of nervous um, Because this is like one of the first times where content is going to be put out that I Don't edit myself, you know, so but I'm just worried about saying a lot of likes and ums or maybe taking a long pause or maybe saying something kind of dumb, I don't know. I think it'll be fine. Right now I'm eating some cuties. I really like fruit by the way. I just grew up eating a ton of fruit. Like my parents would always prepare fruit for me uh, when I was a kid. I especially love like oranges and cuties and citrus. Also Dave and Theo have been playing a ton lately. They're really crazy when they play. Dave is like really gentle with him though. I looked over my shoulder to see where Theo was and he's sleeping in his bed. I'll show you guys. Look at my child. I love you, Theo. I love you, baby. <laughs> I think I haven't shown you guys all of these new leaves yet. So let me show you. So this is a new leaf coming on my Anthurium Red Crystallinum and it's coming out like super, super red as the name suggests. It's gonna be a very large leaf. I cannot wait. This was the most recent leaf that I put out. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. My Anthurium Pendens is also putting out a new leaf, which I am very excited about because this is one of my favorite anthurium. As things are warming up, a lot of my plants are putting out more leaves at a faster pace. So yay for spring. I'm really excited for spring and summer to come. So I just finished the recording for the podcast that I was a guest on and it was a lot of fun talking to Brandon and Nicole and I think the call went on for like an hour and a half or two hours. We just talked about like plant stuff and 
content creation and aquariums and terrariums and mosses. And now I'm feeling very lazy and tired and um, I think Chris and I are going to get pizza for dinner. the next day and I wanted to share this. So my old watering can that I was using um, leaks and it's really annoying to use. So I bought a new watering can and it is kind of fancy. It is more extra than a watering can needs to be. It's very pretty and it is nice quality. And the big appeal about this watering can is that the water pours out very gently like a soft rainfall. Let's test this bad boy out. What should we water first? This avocado plant needs some watering? Okay, let's see. Wow. Do you see how gentle that looks? That's like really nice actually. I know, it's actually really nice. Another way to do it is like to twist it and... But, oh, I kind of just... I don't know, it's harder to control though. <laughs> this is nicer. Wow, this is very nice. It's very soft. Oh, this plant needs water? Here you go. I'm just gonna... <laughs> use this and go around and water all of my plants even if they don't need water because i don't know it's always exciting to use new gear and this is definitely more expensive and more fancy than you need a watering can to be but it's nice to get nice things that you use every day so the experience of doing that daily task feels luxurious maybe uh, i think i'm gonna end the vlog here and hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching and i will see you next time. Bye.